Now that we're six games into Atari's initiative to recharge their classic arcade titles, I worry that the developer might be spinning their wheels and simply repeating the same trick over and over again. After all, if you go back and watch my Centipede, Black Widow, and Asteroids reviews, you'll find me complaining about all the same problems. The lack of unique backgrounds, the limited arcade modes, and so on and so forth. However, that's how I felt before I played their newest installment, Gravatar Recharged, an updated version of a lesser-known shooter that originally bombed when it was first released. Of all the Atari classics that could benefit from this type of facelift, few are better candidates than this oddball shooter. That's why I'm excited to say that Gravatar is not only the best in the Recharged series, but it's also the redemption story that we've been waiting four decades to see. Gravitar was one of those games that was way ahead of its time. It was an asteroid-style shoot-em-up with a wide variety of level types and a gravitational pull mechanic that you first had to wrap your head around before you could even hope to get a high score. As it turns out, this was too much for gamers in the early 1980s, who largely found the game frustrating and hard to play. As a result, Atari offered a conversion kit that turned Gravatar into Black Widow, effectively hammering the final nail in this ambitious shooter's coffin. Now, 40 years later, time has been kind to Gravatar. While it's still hard to control, and it's clear the developers bit off more than they could chew, We've seen a lot of games take inspiration from the gravity-themed shooter and prove that Atari was actually onto something. And that brings us to this recharged upgrade, the game Gravatar was trying to be back in 1982. This is a sharp-looking update that improves on the gameplay, streamlines the levels, and builds onto the formula in some fun and exciting ways. Now, for as ambitious as the game was at the time, it also had an incredibly simple setup. You control a triangle-shaped spaceship that travels around the galaxy and lands on planets, where you'll have to perform some sort of simple shoot-em-up task. Some planets will want you to activate a bunch of beacons, steal important plans from the enemies, blow up a reactor, or simply kill a bunch of bad guys in the level. But to complete your task, you'll leave the planet and search for the next challenge. And you'll just keep doing this until you run out of lives, at which point you'll have to start over from the beginning. The fact that you're constantly completing different types of missions helps to set this game apart from Asteroids and the other shooters that have been recently recharged. Those games tend to have a single goal, whereas there's a real sense of randomness in Gravatar. Each mission forces you to play a bit differently, with some keeping you in claustrophobic corridors, and others allowing you to use the wide open space to your advantage. You'll also find that some levels have an aggressive gravitational pull, while others won't have one at all. And just because you're able to sneak through the enemy line and complete the mission, you have to remember that you still have to escape the planet without running out of gas. Yeah, that's easier said than done. Now, to be fair, the gameplay does take some getting used to. Gravatar shares a lot in common with Asteroids, since you're basically only controlling the ship by turning it 360 degrees and thrusting in the direction you want it to go. That's hard enough when you're in the gravity-free reaches of space, but once you get close to a planet, you'll be in a constant struggle to keep your ship going in the right direction. I have to admit, I spent the first half hour of this game crashing and being frustrated. But you know what? There came a point when it all just clicked, and I started to really appreciate that learning curve. It finally got to the point where it became almost second nature, and I would just whip through those tight caverns without worrying too much about slamming into the rocky walls. Believe it or not, it wasn't the moving around that I found to be the most difficult part of Gravatar, but rather the aiming. The default weapon is a burst cannon that shoots out three rockets, one right after the other, with a brief pause between firing. The pointy end of the triangle should help you aim, but I found that I missed a lot more than I hit. 
But even with this handicap, I was still able to effectively take down the enemies, thanks to the rockets going the entire length of the screen, as well as a number of fun power-ups that you can pick up around the stages. Now, much like the rest of the recharged line, Gravatar is split between a standard arcade mode and a bunch of extra challenge missions. These extra missions tend to be the sole reason to buy one of these games. But I think the two modes are pretty evenly split here. What you'll find is that the extra challenge missions are basically just harder versions of the levels that you play in the arcade mode. It's the same tasks, including activating beacons, stealing important plans, blowing up reactors, and killing a bunch of enemies. Don't get me wrong, these stages are fun, and I love the extra challenge they provide. But I actually prefer playing them in the confines of the arcade mode. Speaking of which, that's really one of the biggest surprises of this entire game. In past recharged titles, the arcade mode felt like an afterthought, something slapped on that always seemed to fail to capture the magic of the original arcade hit. That's not the case here. Not only is the arcade mode surprisingly deep and fun, but it finally gives you an option on how you want to play. If you want an extra challenge, you can modify the game to only give you one life or no shields. These were the sorts of options that were completely missing from games like Centipede and Asteroids. And that's not the only major improvement. One of my biggest criticisms was that the backgrounds never changed and every level looked the same. Not so with Gravatar. Instead of the typical grid background, this game gives us gorgeous space-themed artwork that shows off the different planets and stars. It's not always the same background either, but rather a cool rotation of striking designs. The whole thing looks fantastic and suggests the developers are finally listening to the critics. But hey, let's not forget about the real story here. Sure, it's great news that my complaints about the Recharge franchise aren't going on deaf ears. But the bigger story is that Gravatar has finally been redeemed. It took Atari 40 years, but they finally made something good out of this game. They took a much maligned shooter that people barely even remember and turned it into an action game that I have no problem recommending. While the newest recharged game from Atari may be a deep cut, you shouldn't hold that against it. Gravatar is a fun shoot 'em up with a surprising amount of mission types and a tragic backstory that makes it ripe for redemption. The gameplay may take a little getting used to and the aiming could be easier, but once you get the hang of things, you'll discover an ambitious shooter with a striking art style and a whole lot of variety. Gravatar is a new high watermark for the recharged franchise. Hey! Thanks for watching our review. If you liked what you saw here, then you should know that we post new reviews and features almost every day. Now, here's the question I have for you. What's a game you love that everybody else seems to hate? Look, we're all out of step with the general consensus from time to time. And you know what? There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, if you go back through my reviews, you'll find a lot of questionable takes. So I'm excited to see what games you pick in the comments below. In other news, we'll be back later this week with more reviews, but first, it's the return of Game Over. Oh, and there's a big announcement coming, too. So big. While you wait for that, I strongly recommend you click that subscribe button and support what we're doing here. Until then.